Good evening and welcome to News24. This is Marvin Sandani with the top news of the day. RAB has arrested Badul and Delwar, the main accused in the case of indecent assault and torture of a housewife in Begum Ganj, Noakali. Both have claimed responsibility for the incident. Earlier, police arrested two more accused, Abdul Rahim and Ramatullah from Noakali. A total of four accused were arrested. The High Court has issued a rule asking whether the police was negligent in the incident. The victim filed a case on Sunday night naming nine people under the Women and Child Abuse Prevention Act and the Pornography Control Act. Anonymous seven to eight more people were also accused. The most alarming incident torturing the housewife after removing her dress and filming the video in Noakali has given rise to the storm of protests across the country. Protest rallies in Noakali demanded exemplary punishment for those responsible. Meanwhile, activists of various organizations gathered in front of the National Press Club, Shahbag and Uttara to protest against violence against women. According to the charge, the affairs of the Saudi embassy in Dhaka, all Bangladeshi migrant workers can go to Saudi Arabia by extending their ikama and visa period if Saudi employers agree to recruit them. He said this today at a function in the capital. The authorities of the Saudi airlines have started reissuing tickets for stranded Bangladeshis based on their visa expiry dates. The airlines will sort out their returnees whose visas have very short duration of expiry and will reissue their return tickets. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Monday said the government is careful so that prompt action can be taken, taken against any kind of child oppression in the country. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister urged the parents and guardians to take children outside their homes to any nearby park or playground to keep them physically and mentally healthy. She also emphasized on maintaining hygiene rules for corona. The Prime Minister said this while inaugurating World Children's Day and Child Rights Week 2020 at Bangladesh Shishu Academy Auditorium. Newly appointed Indian High Commissioner Vikram Dorai Swamy has arrived Bangladesh through Brahmun Barias Akhaura International Immigration Check Post on Monday morning. Abdul Hamid, a sub-inspector of the special branch of the police on duty at the immigration check post, said that he arrived at the Agurthala airport in the state of Tripura on a domestic flight from India as direct flights to Bangladesh were closed. Meanwhile, the Indian High Commissioner designated to Bangladesh, Vikram Kumar Durai Swami, on Monday said he would work on a strengthening partnership with Bangladesh for mutual benefit. Bangladesh reported 27 new deaths from the novel coronavirus infection in a daily count, taking a total of 5,375. Another 1,442 coronavirus patients are found in 24 hours, raising the total number of infections to 3,70,132. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services, DGHS, made the disclosure on Monday afternoon. In the last 24 hours, the number of infections in the world has decreased again. 2,49,546 people have been infected in one day. 4,013 people lost their lives. India still has the highest daily contagion. In one day, 74,767 people were infected and 902 people died in the country. Trump's coronavirus condition has created a maze. President Trump, who was admitted in the hospital, suddenly circled the convoy. Surprised by the supporters, he returned to the hospital after a while. Doctors said the president is recovering and can return to the White House on Monday. Trump said he learned a lot from the infection in his own body. Meanwhile, during his tenure in the hospital, the popularity of rival Joe Biden in the upcoming presidential election has increased by 10 percent. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.